I come to your shop to buy something and then you are born you are making it look like we fought in our dreams hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel please if you're watching my video for the first time click on the subscribe button and if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for always coming back to support i really do appreciate you guys so in today's video i am going to discuss on the five things that entrepreneurs do that ruin their businesses there are so many things that ruin someone's businesses as an entrepreneur but these five things are the most noticeable things that i personally have encountered so i am going to share my experience in this video five things that entrepreneurs do that ring that businesses keep watching <laughs> quality of your services for instance there is this woman i do patronize because I, I stay in the hostel in school so i do eat her food and at first it was always nice but along the line the quality of her food changed it wasn't good again i had to stop patronizing her so i recommend that if you are a service provider or you sell something be sure to sell the most sell the most like i don't know how to emphasize it it should be of good quality okay and if you provide service you are a service provider you maybe do makeup you tie gele, you do other things you, you you give you sell your services be sure to render a good service so that people will always come back to patronize you and by doing that you will not have to get complaints every day this thing was not good i am not going again if you keep on giving um, low quality with poor quality of your services or goods people will not want to come back to patronize you personally I stopped patronizing that woman see of her food changed so I had to stop patronizing her I know that so many people always want to you know um, how should I say to sugarcoat something so many service providers or people who sell goods always want to sugarcoat whatever they are selling they will say if you buy this thing eh, ha, you will not regret so it's good or it's nice so for instance you are selling clothes you, you, you use sweet smile to you know um, persuade your um, customer to buy something you sugarcoat it so the person you buy this jean it will last it will not it will remain like this for five years it will be like this do like that and then when a person buys that jeans eh, or jean you put it inside water <laughs> you start seeing the color coming out so things like that don't tell lies i've met people um um say that um this thing i bought it that woman told me to be good or that man told me to be good to last oh but i used it only one time look at what's happened so if, imagine the person telling me now i will not want to go in now because already have told me your own encounter i will not want to come close to that place so if you want to um sell something or um provide service make sure that what you are talking about your bragging it should fit with the quality of your service don't over brag and then that thing you are saying did not is not true or don't over brag and then your services is very poor what you are selling is very poor it's so bad and I would not want I would not love to come to you if I hear of such if I hear of my friends telling me that I bought this thing they look at only one they think don't spoil or all those things personally I will not come so if you want to you know be, be I'm not saying you should not be proud of your services or what you're selling be proud and brag about it but let it fit with the quality you are giving out this one is always do things the way your customers want it for instance um I met okay i went to eat indomie once so i told this person i don't like pepe anything pepe just take it out i don't like pepe just put all to want to put but don't put pepe i don't like you want to put it just be very small i don't want to taste pepe so he was like um but pepe is good now pepe is good before you know it before i knew it he packed the paper and put the way he wanted it to be wanted like personally he loves paper so he did it the way he felt it should be so he did not satisfy me i told him i wanted my indomie without paper so him doing that i felt so bad because i'm paying you this money to do this this is your job you should do it the way i want you to do it because i'm paying you the money so give your customers the way they want it they tell you don't do it like this do it for them the way they want it don't try to impose what you like on them i stopped going there because me i don't like pay my money for something and then what i'm getting is nonsense so 
always give your customers the best of your service and let it be the way they want it to be if they say no pepe i beg no pepe no this thing no whatever if it, that is not i'm not only talking about in the middle if you provide services that requires your customers to choose what they want then let them be free to have what they want because they are paying for it okay do not try to impose what you like on them they will not like it and that's that is one of the things I ruin business. The next one is always keep a smiling face. <sighs> if you are a service provider or you sell something, please endeavor to always keep a smiling face. Do not frown at a customer. A customer, maybe your customer, um, you have a customer. So instead of you to just welcome the person with a smiling face and be jovial, make your customers to feel at home. Be jovial, keep a smiling face. It will help. Not when, for instance, I come to your shop to buy something and then you are bony. You are making it look like we fought in our dreams. Or maybe you met me some way, so we fought. Or like, I don't know, but you will not encourage me to come to your shop again. So always keep a smiling face so that the person will feel you know, free. If the person wanted to come and tell you something, maybe kind of private now, but the way you are keeping your face, uh, the person will run away and the person will want to come back. So endeavor to keep a smiling face with your customers at all times. Common mistake that entrepreneurs make is ignoring their customer's presence. If a customer enters your shop, please try to welcome that person. If you are busy, tell the person, please give us some minutes. We are working on someone. We are busy. We will attend to you as soon as possible. That alone will calm the person. Person to calm me, I will wait for you. But if I enter your shop and then you ignore me, you are doing your own thing. Like me feel very stupid now. And I just entered your shop. Nobody attends to me. Like it will make me feel very horrible. So if you have a customer, please try as much as possible to always welcome the person coming inside. Welcome that person. Okay, it will make the person feel um, yeah, it will make the person feel okay, fine, everything is going to come out well. Another common but big mistake that entrepreneurs make is not being organized. Please try as much as possible to always be organized because I don't like it when I maybe I go to your shop or sorry, I go to somebody's shop or I come to your shop to do something and then every place is just scattered. Not just that, maybe the persons, nobody's assigned to do this, nobody is assigned to do that. Like the whole place is just disorganized. It's going to, uh, I don't know, but I don't know how other people do feel, but I don't like going to places that are not organized. So try as much as possible to have an organized um, setting, have organized people working for you. Okay, this person is handling this, this person is handling that. Um, or yeah, maybe you want to uh, make a kind of skill accusation. Maybe people are paying you to train them. Then set, draft a timetable. This is what you're doing today. Not when somebody comes that day and then that's when you're saying, mm, let's do this today, tomorrow, do that. And you're not being organized. Try to be as organized as you can. If you're selling something, then you should, you should know that you should have this person working here, this person working here, and everything is just working smoothly. Everything will be organized and people will come and then they will not have issues. The big mistake that entrepreneurs make is showing their bad attitude. Please, if you have any bad attitude, drop it in your house before going to work. Just try to have a good attitude towards your customer. For instance, there was once I went to buy, I went to buy a ball. I felt like eating bolly once. So I went to this woman to get my, to buy my ball from her. So another lady was also there. People were much kind of people were much. So this particular lady was okay. We were waiting under the sun for this woman to sell for us. So she she sold for me. I gave her my money. So this other lady was waiting for her own change, but uh, the sun was so it was so hot that day. So she was um she just tapped this woman, ma please my change. I'm waiting under the sun. This woman just turned and hit her like you know how you hit somebody as if like you had issues with that person. She hit this lady. Hmm. Stop hitting me. Not hitting like that. You have to see I'm selling. There's no change. Well, for, like the way she was talking, like it wasn't good at all. All eyes were on her. She, like we were just looking at her, the way she was react the way she reacted to that lady, and the lady was just shaking her head. It wasn't good at all. It was a very bad experience there. So do not do that to your customers. Just try to be polite, even if you are provoked. Try to be polite. Tell the person, okay, please, there is no change. Um, this that just try to be polite. Do not try to um 
be rude be, I, like, I don't just know that was just so uncalled for it was so bad and i also asked because another lady was um in charge of i think the fish or whatever so i asked her which parts she puts for me because i did not want her to put that head for me because there's nothing they want to just it's a little this thing no there's nothing there in that head part again so i wanted her to put the tail part for me so i asked her please which part did you put for me Instead of have to just say i just put this part though she said private part me at first i thought i did not hear it well like it sounded like something i've never heard before so i asked her again she was still saying private parts i thought and i i laughed like i was embarrassed i just laughed at myself i was like mm, this woman she just carried a fish and put on me and said fish is fish there's nothing like part fish is fish and i just said i just carried my thing and left i was i felt so stupid people were even laughing at me safe and the woman because mm, it was so bad though how can you tell you that i'm buying private parts ah god forbid now <laughs> This last one is not a mistake, but I suggest you do this if you want to grow your business and if you want to keep your customers in, you want to keep in touch with your customers. For instance, if somebody comes to buy something from you, well, this is optional. This is optional though, but it's something that you should do if, if you want to keep in touch with your customers. For instance, someone came to your shop to buy something, you can get the person's WhatsApp, WhatsApp number. Try as much as you can to reach out to that person Maybe every month to send a new month takes happy new month from this that we wish you a happy month a happy new month in advance blah blah all those stuffs remember we still sell your we still sell quality this quality that we still do this and just remind them of your service because someone might buy something from you today and then he or she forgets that he bought something there so it's now less for you to constantly remind that person maybe every month happy new months we do sell this we are your number one plug number one shoe plug number one this and that just try to keep in touch with that person even if that person doesn't want to buy something from you but that person can recommend you to another person to buy off if i have not mentioned your mistake but you know very well that your business is falling or maybe you're losing a customer maybe somebody uh, has been buying something from you for a long time maybe um, a month or so or a long time and then you're now seeing that person going to another place to buy something then there must be something wrong ask yourself what is wrong with my business what is wrong with my service something is wrong try to point out try to pinpoint that thing hold it and correct it so that you have other customers coming your way i've said a lot of mistakes that um entrepreneurs make i know that there are some times that you do these things because a particular customer behaved anyhow because to every rule there's always an exception for instance you're shouting at a customer you might not know maybe that your customer might have done something wrong or the customer might have reacted somehow maybe you're selling something at one thousand naira. the person is going to price you 200 naira <laughs> some people who are easily given to anger and i just shout at you to leave that place so sometimes customers are not always right there's a saying that customers are always right but i doubt i i don't think that customers are not always right even if they are right they're not right at all times so customers too also have their own mistakes so many mistakes a lot and sometimes they are the ones who provoke the service provider to react the way they react so if you're a customer you buy something from people and you know very well that you do behave <laughs> i don't know how to put that one you bargain a lot someone will say this is one time now you're pricing a person at 18 naira or 20 naira how do you want the person to feel now but then i just shout at you and then you go to tell another person that woman always shout at somebody that woman, but i have not told the person your own side what you did that may have to shout at you so please everybody makes mistakes client um service provider but sometimes there's a client or the customer who provoke the service providers to react the way, the, the way they react so please try to correct yourself be good be nice guys i have exhausted the list of things i have to share with you guys if you have any other thing to add or you have encountered any mistake anything you are free to leave a comment below in the comment section let me know what you think about this video and if you love to see more videos like this so guys please like share and subscribe please if you love my video you have to subscribe because you love my video and if you don't want to miss subsequent videos just click that subscribe button and turn on this this bell button click it on so that anytime i post a new video you always see it it will always pop in and you see that i've posted this video so please like share comment and subscribe share with your friends guys please do not forget to share this video if you show this video to somebody, another person might see it and like it and share it again and my video keeps going. So please help me to share this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching me. I don't know how to thank you enough if you have watched me without skipping. <laughs>
<laughs> thank you so much i do appreciate you all and i would love to see you all in my next video bye